My name is Lane Wade. I'm with Arista Life Science, and um, we have registered a material, an antibiotic called Kasumin, and it was registered by the EPA federally, Section 3, in September of 2014. It's been used in the state of Michigan for a few years prior to that in a Section 18 status, and it's an alternative or a new antibiotic to oxytetracycline and streptomycin, which have been the only ones registered on palm fruit for fire blight up until now. Uh, it's the first antibiotic registered by the EPA in 45 years since oxytetracycline. So it's an historical achievement. Uh, it's been a, a group effort to get this done. The EPA was uh, extremely conscientious in doing this and we've worked closely with them. So it's been a, it's been a, a, a heck of an accomplishment to be involved in that. So in Michigan, it's registered on palm fruit again for fire blight control. Um, it's extremely efficacious, very similar to streptomycin when streptomycin sensitivity exists. Uh, fortunately for this material, there's no cross resistance between the other two materials, so that's important. Streptomycin is, has, has had resistance now developing in, in most of the palm fruit growing regions for several years. The cost is as what you would call a Cadillac type cost. But as most growers know, the cost of having fire blight is uh, astronomically more. The IR4 program that's with, with USDA has been very instrumental and deserves a lot of credit for doing residue trials with this. We've done residue trials on uh, currently on olives, almonds, uh, peaches, so the stone fruit group, fruiting vegetables, tomatoes and peppers. And it's just a matter of of being able to slowly get these registrations as EPA is satisfied with, uh, with, with no ecological impacts.